in Mexico, right next to Tuna Blanca. I'm gonna do this little beach right here and then go around this little uh, I don't know, rock pier. See what I find. Stay tuned. Yeah. First target. Some kind of bar. It's uh, some pickers already. So it's a little rainy out with the 705. You guys covered up like this. <clears throat> Got a nice target here. See if I can extract it. Sounds like a 10 peso to me. What do I know? And we have a ancient pull tab. That's a, uh, a tent eyelet. <laughs> next target was actually a folded over pull tab. So our next target is this big plate here. Pretty solid. Got a deep can. Awesome. <laughs> It's gonna be, I've hunted here before, it's really hard to find stuff, but at least we're finding things. This looks interesting. I'm sure it's not a necklace. Some kind of spring hook for boats or something. Rang up really nice. <laughs> Got our first real target here. Oh yeah. Little weed leaf. Let's go. Pretty high targets, probably can from my experience. <laughs> well, now it's a low tone, so it could be a pull tab. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta dig it up, Bill. Got lucky with that little necklace thing. Big ass, big spike. It's my best signal so far. Solid 30. Should be like an American quarter. <laughs> Can't see it, whatever it is. I'm too lazy to go down. Oh, I see it now. Looks like something. This feels like a 10 peso. Super heavy. I mean, not usually this heavy, but it's the size of a 10 peso, so I'm gonna say. First coin of the day in the books. Oh, yeah! Another high tone of 34. Let's see what we pull out. Big can. <laughs> Bam. So 38. There's little pipes coming out of the, the ground over there, so I can't really dig over there. I don't want to mess those up. This feels like another can signal. Got another high signal right here. Can't believe how hot it is in the morning here. I'm already sweating and it's raining. <laughs> At least the bugs are, out, uh, are gone. All right, so we got something here. I think I see it. Falls up. Nope. A spike or something. Here we go. I think it's a coin. Could be another dime. It feels so small. Oh, I think it's a Mexican coin. Nope, dime. That could be old. Got like a mid 20s target in here. Ah. Bottle cap. Looks like we have another coin here. American penny. I guess Americans are staying outside of this place. <laughs> so 28, that should be probably a coin or something. Nope, bottle cap. 
There's a 30, so I'm super hopeful for something good. I think I might see something. Looked like that was going to be something important. Here's a solid 10. Don't get many of those. <laughs> More bottle caps. So anyways, I basically cleaned this whole little beach area for this hotel. Now I'm going to move on. <laughs> Just making my way past this little uh, rock levee or whatever you want to call that. And there's a couple of hotels over here. Maybe. They'll let me uh, go in front of there. Sometimes they get a little uh, weird, but uh, you know, I'm used to it, so it doesn't hurt to ask. Just be nice. That's my advice. Or growl. Just want to point out these beaches are super clean. I mean, there's no signals. <laughs> Normally you're just like bam, 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 bam. Nothing. Every couple feet you should have something, right? Maybe every 10 feet, maybe every 100 swings, but Sometimes this is how it is. You just gotta keep going. You gotta persevere. Don't give up. Enjoy what you're doing. And look for something killer, you know? That's the Sarcos. So I'm just uh, helping these guys clean the beach right now because I haven't really found anything, but uh, I'm still out and doing what I love to do. Let's go.